Yes, there's a problem with gender, and we must fix it. This has to stop. Use your fire to light other women's torches. And equal rights for women! No one can stop us. There was a time when women social activists asked men to stand up for their rights. But this time, we will do it by ourselves. A deal that goes against the rights of women is unacceptable. We cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. We call upon our sisters around the world to be brave, to embrace the strength within themselves and realize their full potential. No one can stop us. We will speak up for our rights and we will bring change through our voice. Our words can change the whole world. Let us pick up our books and our pens. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Education is the only solution. Thank you. Women are choosing not to identify as feminist. That fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. This has to stop. Feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. Both men and women should feel free to be sensitive, to be strong. I want men to take up this mantle so that their daughters, sisters and mothers can be free from prejudice, but also so that their sons have permission to be vulnerable and human too. If we do nothing, it will take 75 years before women can expect to be paid the same as men for the same work. 15.5 million girls will be married in the next 16 years as children, and at current rates, it won't be until 2086 before all rural African girls can have a secondary education. If you believe in equality, you might be one of those inadvertent feminists. And for this, I applaud you. Our family of animals, mammals, is named after us, women, because of our mammary glands. Yes, the most remarkable thing about our whole type of animal is our boobs. We know that, men know that, and babies definitely know that. Many men are behaving like we live in a zero-sum game. That if women get the respect, access, and value they deserve, that men will lose theirs. But we know the message of the mammaries. The more milk you give, the more milk you make. The more love you give, the more love you have. And the same can be said of fire. When you light someone else's torch with your own, you don't lose your fire. You just make more light and more heat. So my last challenge to everyone in this room is to spread your fire. Use your fire to light other women's torches and make more light and more heat for all of us. Do you all pledge with me? Love you. To every woman who gave birth, to every taxpayer and citizen of this nation, we have fought for everybody else's equal rights. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all, and equal rights for women in the United States of America. Some people will say that a woman being subordinate to a man is our culture. But culture is constantly changing. I have beautiful twin nieces who are 15 and live in Lagos. If they had been born 100 years ago, they would have been taken away and killed because it was our culture. It was Igbo culture to kill twins. So what is the point of culture? I mean, there's the decorative, the dancing, but also culture really is about preservation and continuity of a people. In my family, I am the child who is most interested in the story of who we are, in our traditions, in the knowledge of ancestral lands. But I cannot participate. I cannot have a say because I am female. Culture does not make people. People make culture. So if it is in fact true that the full humanity of women is not our culture, then we must make it our culture. My own definition of feminist is, a feminist is a man or a woman who says, Yes, there's a problem with gender as it is today, and we must fix it. We must do better.